Hey, what's up guys? Casey Demon, TaxFaultAcademy.com. Real quick before we get started, if you're looking to learn about investing in tax faulted real estate, be sure you check out the links down below in the description of this video. Lots of incredible resources to help you get started. All right, in today's video, I want to discuss, I guess you could call it a strategy that I utilize when I first start researching and reviewing a tax sale list. And that strategy is to analyze the cost or the opening bid amounts of those properties. And so many investors kind of skip this step. They just kind of glance over it, don't really think a whole lot about it. Whereas I actually sit back and I analyze what do those numbers mean? Now, you have to realize that it is for two reasons. The first one is going to be the most obvious. Can I afford that property, right? I don't want to get down a tunnel and just keep digging and digging and find out all this incredible information about a piece of property and I just want to buy it so bad only to discover that the opening bid amount is way outside of my budget and I just wasted two hours of my life researching a property that I can't afford. Been there, done that. It is not fun. So I want to make sure that I can afford that property. And also I want to make sure that it is within my means. Maybe I've allocated a certain amount in my budget for that specific auction. Maybe I'm attending multiple auctions that day. And if it's outside of that budget for that specific auction, again, don't want to go down that rabbit hole of digging and digging and wasting so much time. It's all about efficiency when you start researching lots and lots of properties. So that's the obvious reason. Number two, we need to sit back and determine why these properties have that opening bid. Now we understand that the opening bid typically in most areas is going to consist of the amount of the back due taxes, fees, and interest on those amounts. Now, when it comes to like an OTC list, it'll also typically start off at those same numbers, the amount of back due taxes, interest, and fees, at least initially, they might work it down eventually. But when you see that number, automatically think to yourself, that's what it consists of, taxes, interest, and fees. So when you see that number and the opening bid amount is $117, you need to think to yourself, you got at least two or three years worth of back due taxes, interest, and fees, and all it accounted for, all it totaled was $117. That means the taxes are like 30 bucks a year, right? 40 bucks a year at most. But when you start thinking this, when you really analyze that number, kind of work backwards here, that means that the property had a very, very low assessed value or the property taxes are very, very low in that area. So maybe start digging, figure out which reason it was. But typically, if you see an opening bid amount like below 150 bucks, below $100, something like that, the property is going to be junk. There's a reason that it has such low taxes, and that's based off a very, very low tax assessed value. So you'll usually want to skip those properties or do very, very quick research just to make sure you're not missing out on a dime in the rough. But most of the time, when you see a very, very low bid amount, your red flag should go straight up and you should probably dig a little bit very, very quickly and move on to the next property. Likewise, when I see properties that have opening bid amounts of like $300,000, $400,000, that kind of intrigues me. Now, it's not to say that I can go out and buy 30 of those properties next week, but the fact of the matter is, what is the reason that the opening bid amount is so high? You know, that's going to show a probably eighty, ninety, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 per year worth of taxes. That's going to be a piece of property that's valued very, very high. Or it might have some substantial issues and the county tacked on maybe demolition costs or environmental costs or something along those lines. So those properties do intrigue me, but that opening bid amount can really help to not only determine if it's in our budget, but we can also learn quite a bit about the property, about the value of that property in a very, very quick manner just by looking at that opening bid amount. So the next time you look at a tax sale list, don't breeze over that bid amount. Really study it, really focus on it, and determine what exactly it means and how you can utilize that number to quickly and efficiently determine if the property is worth your time that you need to invest to research it in more detail. Guys, I really hope this has helped you. For more information on tax law investing, head on over to taxlawacademy.com. You can pick up my book. The book itself is free. Just covers shipping to get it from my warehouse to your front door. It's an incredible book. It is the ultimate guide to buying and selling tax faulted real estate. It's going to be a great resource for beginning tax law investors. And of course, when you're ready to get the most detailed training offered in the world when it comes to tax sale investing, go to taxallacademy.com, click that join button, and become a member of the Tax Academy. Hey, take care, folks. Bye-bye.